KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very beautiful Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag for you. The mix goes like this. Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ are trading at downside, 108, 7, and 49 points, respectively. The Russell and the semis are up, 14 points for the Russell, 7 points for the semis. Trading's off 115. Goldilocks up $19. Silver's up 9 pennies. Light Street Crude is backed off. It's off a buck 79 right now. Natural gas is uh, off two pennies in a 30-year treasury. Print out at 119.13. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini. It's in the upper left-hand corner. What do we have out here? We've got a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. We're starting to see a series of higher lows of I'm sorry, of lower highs and lower lows out there. Don't worry, I'll get that together. Does that matter? We've got a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Odds would favor a move back to the 52.57 level. That's the top of its daily profile. Spot follow 10x, however, peaked at the 50-day exponential moving average early this morning. The 50 days at 13.85, we got up to a high of 13.67. Only if price closes above that would we suggest that the ES Mini may be doing something a little bit more nefarious, even though it's got that topping pattern out there. If we take a look at that spot volatility, the key level to be watching is 13.85. The NQ has a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. It, too, has a small series of uh, lower highs out there and lower lows. It may be that price is going to go target the top of its profile as well. That's at the 18.158 level. U.S. dollar index. It's got an A to B equals CD pattern. 104.69 is its price target. However, it's run into a bunch of resistance. The top of its weekly profile. And that's at the 104.19 level. What we're likely to get today is the complete is the confirmation of a TD9 count top as well. So that ABC, A to B equals CD pattern is going to have to is going to likely hold off for a while as the US dollar index makes its way back to support. For support, I'd be looking at about the 102.90 to 103.03 level. If we take a look at Goldilocks, you got the US dollar index trading lower. Uh, gold right now still has a TD9 count top. It needs a close above 2203 to see suggest that it's off to the races. Silver, like gold, is consolidating with inside its daily profile. Silver has support at 24.36, resistance up at 25.51. Lights Recruit has a sell the D point pattern with price just consolidating with inside. Oh, I had the wrong contract up on that screen. No wonder. The actual Lights Recruit is trading higher out there. Don't worry, Stevie will uh, Stevie will get it together. It's uh, trading between support and resistance. 79.11 is support, resistance up at the 83.12 level. Yeah, natural gas tests that by the D point pattern out there, but boy, it's just not getting a whole lot of love. Neither is the U.S. 30-year uh, bond as we speak right now. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, but if you're off to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now. In the world